I'm wrecking. Oh man, I just spun a Mustang out. <laughs> oh man, I'm nothing wrong with that. Oh no, he hit me into the pits. He hit me into the oh pits. my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Okay, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Fighting her. No. Save it. Nope. Ah. <laughs> what is going on in here? So today we are checking out the MetaQuest Pro headset as a sim rig or a sim racing headset, I guess, because ultimately to us, this is still a gaming headset. Prove us wrong. What it is for it at least right is, now. Man. For at least right now until it gets better in the, you know, the the workspace. But Tyler's check, checking out some Assetto Corsa. Oh, best game ever. In the Y'all 2 motion sim rig and also rocking the uh, sim racing Hurricane fans. Dude, these things are great. <laughs> these things really put out some air for real. They really do, so they actually, actually. You can hear them slow down, so they they'll actually speed up, increase the airflow as you go faster in the car, which is really cool. Fortunately, we had to shut those off because we recorded a bunch of footage and they were so powerful that it was messing up the microphones and the microphone dude, was picking up the wind but noise. But they are. Man, those fans, dude. Those fans are ridiculous. Right? Really sweet though, <laughs> I will awesome. say. It also keeps you cool for one thing and they increase speed as you go faster. So it gives you a little bit more sense of speed. They're too wobbly with the GoPro mount. So I definitely got to get the upgraded aluminum brackets for those. With the motion sim rig, they just move a little bit too much. I feel um, like it's really important to say too, like we paid full price for this headset. We weren't given this headset. We weren't given a discount or we, any money or anything else. This is bought with our hard earned money. So, you know, we can say whatever we want about it. And <laughs> honestly, we didn't think we were gonna like it this much. When I we first thought I was gonna hate demo. it, dude. It is so good. Like when you lean in. Yeah, like I look mean, at the dash. I don't even cables. need to lean in though. I can read like everything. I know. Like it's so clear. Man, I, just the visuals though in this headset. I don't, I don't like want to rant and rave about it, but man, I, I'm just enjoying it so much. I feel like it takes a lot of the stress off my neck for some reason too. I really, really? do. Well, it is like I mean, it is really balanced. It's just heavy. It is a heavy headset. I don't love the fact that, you know, the, the head strap is permanent too. I like, I like the ability to swap things out. You know what I mean? Right. I'm with you. I mean, and you can take off the front pad and the rear padding and stuff, but I wish the head strap was made to come off. What do you think of playing a uh, set of course? One of your favorite games on the, on the Meta Quest? It Pro? absolutely is my favorite game on here. <laughs> Man, I think honestly, cause I've got the like, Shoot, sorry. I got the lenses pulled in like way tighter and I, the field of view definitely seems way bigger. And I don't even have the blinders on and with the lenses pulled in, you really don't even almost need them. It's, I mean, I barely have any peripheral light coming in and I've got them pulled almost to my eyelashes. And that's gonna depend probably too, a lot on your face shape. You know, if you have bulging eyes or not. I mean, everyone's obviously built a little differently. You so bulging eyes. Yeah, you never know. I mean, it happens. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, it's, it does look really good. It really does. <laughs> I mean, it's really good, really balanced. Also the screens, I mean, the, the colors, they just pop so much in those new screens. I mean, the PPI is higher. I mean, it's not that it's crazy resolution. I mean, it's just so, oh, it looks so good. These lenses, I mean, I feel like we owe it a lot of this to these lenses on this thing. And they're definitely better than the Pico lenses. So the Pico 4 sitting over there, and then it has the pancake lenses too, but the sweet spot is tiny in the Pico 4, where I feel like the Quest Pro has a very nice sweet spot. You know, it's big enough that you don't have to have it perfect, you know, in that little tiny sweet spot to have a clear visuals. Uh, okay, I'm good. Honestly, with this, like it's being as stressful as it is, I don't notice the blinders not, like the side blinders not being on there, like almost at all. Did you? No, I don't really notice it when it's pulled tighter to your face. Yeah. I don't know why. The field of view does feel pretty good though. Man, this car is all over the road, dude. Yeah, the 599 is a great car though. It's so much oh, fun. Oh man, it is fun. You can throttle steer it so good. I really feel like this is a prosumer headset. That's what it is. It's for the prosumer. It's for the enthusiast that wants to try this. For your mainstream gamer, I mean, I, you probably are best off waiting to the Quest 3, right? I guess, but look at the versatility you get out of it. So you do get an amazing headset that runs PC VR. It does everything, right? Dude, I mean, this I, this looks really, really good. What we need to do, because I haven't done a side-to-side -side comparison with the G2, but we need to get like some through the lens footage to see if how the camera picks it up enough to see if it shows it enough. Because I'm telling you, it looks, 
it looks really good and I don't want to just like overhype this headset, but I'm really, really enjoying it, especially for PC VR. Like it really shines for PC VR. We are using a wired link cable right now. Uh, still some issues with AirLink and stuff and AirBridge with this headset that uh, supposedly the next update is going to improve a lot of that stuff, but performance out of the, the headset with the link cable is really good. I'm running a 2080 PC down here. I'm also screen recording on there. I'm running a 65 inch monitor and a 40 inch monitor and a vertical computer monitor plus the headset, you know, and it's running great. You know what I mean? Like I, I, it's running really smooth yeah. for me. <laughs> pass through, it still struggles with pass through. You know what I mean? Does, it's not the best pass through quality. It still can do it. It can do it. Like I said, I'm still wanting some improvements, but you know, the pass through abilities and the comfort. Like for me, it just really, it puts a decent amount of pressure on my forehead here. Like this, this pad here, you know, all this stuff is removable. The rear pad's removable. This pad is removable. But is my forehead even red right now? Like I feel like just like a little bit of extended period of time, this, my forehead kind of gets red. Just, it puts pressure like right here. And that's the one thing that kind of right. bugs me. And I do wear it kind of tight because it has some movement. So if you don't wear it tight and you're playing PCBR or any kind of active movie, even this, I mean, this is jerking me all around, yeah, you know right. what I mean? And I feel like the headset, I need it to be a little bit more stable. So I have to kind of crank it down a little bit. And, and that's- constantly and keep kind of adjusting it too a little bit. I, I know. Yeah, that's what this, this is what gives me a little bit of uncomfort. So right. I think that I already know for a fact that there are third party accessories or third party on companies what? working on accessories for this. I know it's coming. I'm excited to see what they do. I mean, look where we were at with the Quest 2 and launch day. I mean, right. that thing, completely uncomfortable, but the third party companies saved that thing. You know, VR cover, uh, Bobo VR, yep. you know I mean? There's so many companies that have made that headset comfortable where I know they're gonna do the same thing for this. It's really a lot of fun in something like this. I mean, it feels, it looks just really, really good. The lenses, I think are the shining star in this. You know, the, the main things I'm so excited about this headset are the lenses, the updated screens, and the controllers, which obviously in this, you know, the controllers aren't giving me any benefit, but, those are the three things I think where this headset absolutely shines. An interesting headset and where it falls in the market right now. Yes. And it, it, it's causing a lot of conflict and a lot of conversations back and forth because of the price, because of was it what it is, what it's meant for. You know, so many people will tell me, why are you using that? That's not a gaming headset. That's for business only. Well, no, not really. I mean, it's, it's for me, you know, for us, for a lot of people, it is a gaming headset and that's what we bought it for. Now, maybe we, down the road, might we do some productivity stuff in it sure but i don't think it's at a point right now where it's good enough productivity wise for people to go out and buy this thing you know it still needs a lot of updates from from meta to get it to that point and i think it will be someday but right now i mean it's a gaming headset to me and i and i like it i am really enjoying it and that's that's what i bought it for you know what i mean that's what i mean it does very well and i honestly i'm gonna have a hard time going back to the quest 2 after using this you know the increased you know, with the lenses being so much better, with the um, the the screens being better, you know, the dark colors, and I'm telling you that the vibrancy, like the colors, they just pop so much in this headset. Like, and it looks really, really good. And those are the things that are going to be hard to go back to a Quest too, because it does it really well. Now, should you go out and spend fifteen hundred dollars? Probably not. Probably I mean, unless not. it's just the you have the money, you want to try something like this, and it's not going to stress your wallet. Absolutely, but yeah, if you're tight on money and you don't want to spend that crazy money on this thing, I can't recommend you go do that. Don't put yourself in a bad place just to go get this headset. No, you Quest I mean? Two is still a comparable headset to this. Yeah, I mean, I mean Quest Two is still a great headset. Absolutely. I mean, for most people, the Quest Two is going to do everything you want it to do, and it's going to do it really, really well. You know, this is just takes what the Quest Two does, makes it a little bit better. You yeah, know I mean, it looks a little bit better. It, it sounds a little bit better. Uh, yeah, it's just a headset in such a weird place. And it's really odd to sit here and talk to you like this while my butt is vibrating the whole time uh, <laughs> because the car is still idling and it's still vibrating me a little bit. Oh, it's so good. I'm just gonna stay in here. Why don't, why don't you go away? Okay. And I'll, uh, I'll keep rocking I'll just leave this you here for a couple, couple hours. Days. I'll see you later. If I keep you up tonight, let me know. Okay.